What are my picks for the top five most nostalgic moments in Cobra Kai Season 1 and Season 2? Stick around to find out. What's up, Cobra Kai fans? By now, everybody knows that Cobra Kai has released seasons one and two on Netflix, and it's taken over the world. It is number one in the world right now, and you don't get there without loving Karate Kid fans from the past. So today in this video, we're going to talk about the top five, at least my opinion of the top five, most nostalgic moments in Cobra Kai seasons one and two. Everybody knows, if you've seen this show, that the creators are doing a great job of mixing the nostalgia and the modern and putting them all in the same world, and we're going to talk about it, so let's get started. Before we keep going, just want to remind you, this does contain spoilers. If you haven't seen Cobra Kai 1 or 2 yet, watch out, beware, you've been warned. Number 5. Johnny's retelling of the entire Karate Kid 1 movie to Miguel. You all seen the scene in Cobra Kai. Uh, they're sitting on a thing. He finds out that uh, some, Samantha's now dating Miguel, and he wants to warn him off about the LaRussos. And he, he, gives, he gives Miguel his version of what happened in the Karate Kid 1 movie. Uh, he sucker punched me. He stole my girlfriend. He beat me with an illegal kick and it's not necessarily a nostalgic moment but a throwback to the entire Karate Kid 1 movie and you get to see it in just a couple of moments in the Cobra Kai series as well as you know see a different version of what uh, you know what the Karate Kid story was all about and you get to see it through Johnny's eyes to me it's one of the best moments of the whole show it's one of the most nostalgic and it gives you a perspective on what it was like for Johnny being in that situation and an entire retelling of the whole entire movie in a couple minutes which I just thought was phenomenal number four the OG Cobra's ride we all remember that moment when we were introduced to Cobra Kai, when the world got to meet Cobra Kai for the first time. They were on their motorbikes. They were heading to the beach. Hey, everybody's trying something new. Take a right. Check it out. And they rode out onto the beach in their motorcycles, and they, they beat Daniel up for the first time. There's, there's, no other way to, there's no other way to put it. They beat him up for the first time. And in Season 2, Episode 6, which I think was the most gut-wrenching, heartfelt, and probably the best episode of the entire season the Cobras got together again uh, Tommy was in the hospital they decided they wanted to to get him out they decided they wanted to take him out for a night he, he you know he wouldn't forget and boy I bet you none of us are going to forget that night as they all got on some Harleys put on the Germinator helmets and they went down the road and they went camping to hear the song again they played the same song to see them ride again to see the Cobras together again was one of the most nostalgic moments of the Cobra Kai series absolutely loved it number three Miyagi hands we all remember that classic scene from the original Karate Kid. Daniel had just had his leg taken out. They're in the back. He says, hey, can you do that thing with your hands? Can you fix me? And Miyagi rubs his hands together, puts them on, puts them on Daniel's leg, and gets him right. Oh, unbelievable scene. I remember being a kid. I remember being young, and we would do that to each other. We'd get our hands warm. We'd rub them together, get our hands warm, put it on something, and try and heal our friends and the kids that we were playing with in the neighborhood. In Season 1, Episode 10, Robbie had his shoulder taken out much the same way Daniel got his leg taken out in the original Karate Kid. And, you know, it, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing. I know I'm, I'm doing this off the cuff. But uh, Robbie says, hey. Is there anything that could be done? You know, what, what can we do? And Daniel puts his hands together and rubs them. And you're thinking, you're thinking, oh, my God, oh, my God, he knows the trick. Daniel's going to be able to do it. And then he stops and he looks around and he calls for a medic. It was a nice throwback to Mr. Miyagi. It was a nice throwback to Miyagi hands and Karate Kid 1. But it was also just one of the most blessed comedy moments in the entire series. I think I almost fell out of my chair watching it. Number three, Robbie's training reveal. We all saw the when we all saw the Karate Kid for the first time. We saw Daniel painting houses, painting fences, sanding decks, waxing on and waxing off. And and I started to you know very young. I started to agree with like yeah man, you're not teaching him karate, but you got him doing a lot of chores. And finally there was that moment 
where he said, come here. And he said, show me Santa floor and got his hands right. Got him to got him in the right form and showed him that he was learning blocks and he was learning karate techniques. And ever since then, wax on wax off has been iconic in the pop culture vernacular. Now in season one of Cobra Kai, when Daniel starts to uh, train and teach Robbie, he does very much the same thing. He's got him doing different chores. He's got him waxing cars. He's got him using the jack to get under the car. He's got him stapling papers. And Robbie's like, yeah, there comes a point where Robbie's like, hey, I'm trying to learn karate. What the hell? I'm just doing your chores. And Daniel says, I love this part. And he takes Robbie into the dojo and gives him his training reveal. Huge throwback to the original Karate Kid movie. Huge, huge nostalgic moment. And what's fun about it is... We all knew it was coming. We all saw what was about to happen, and Robbie had no clue, and it took us back to 1984. And what is my number one most nostalgic moment from the Cobra Kai series? You may not have guessed it, but it is golf and stuff. Who could forget golf and stuff? It's where Daniel and Allie went on their first date. It's where Daniel and Allie made up the night before the tournament. There's water slides, there's arcade games, there's photo booths, there's all kinds of stuff going on. There's uh, bumper cars, there's bumper boats. It's just it's just an amazing scene. I remember being a kid going, man, I can't wait to be a teenager so I can go do stuff like this. And sure enough, in my little piece of the world, right by the beach, there is a place very, very similar. It had arcades, it had go-karts, it had all of that stuff, bumper boats. It had everything that you wanted, and you could go there, and you kind of got to uh, remember, hey, this was in Karate Kid. We had golfing and everything like that. It was, it was so great. And if you'll remember, Miguel took Sam there on their first date based on some good advice by his sensei, Johnny Lawrence, and they had it, it was it was almost the same. They had the same sign. They had the same music. They were doing the same stuff, and it was just great to watch. I, I think I got out of my seat and cheered when, when Miguel took Sam to golf and stuff. It was literally the best, most nostalgic moment of the Cobra Kai series for me. So tell me what you think. Do my top five rate with you? Do you remember them? Do you like them? Do you agree with them? Do you disagree with them? What is your uh, top five, top two, top three, top one most nostalgic moment of the Cobra Kai series, make sure you tell me in the comments, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell if you are looking for more great Cobra Kai content. Until next time, I am Hash Brown Harry reminding you, no mercy!